Hi guys, it's Ed from Evidence here and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. So yeah, I've done one or two videos and so I won't really call it Let's Play. But anyways, as you know, I'm quite a big fan of Fallout. Um, but anyways, well, I'm good at quite a good Kerbal Space Program. I love Fallout and like there are birdie birds of Fallout, so yeah, I will a birdie bird in Kerbal Space Program. This model requires no mods. So that's also a reason why I don't have rotors up here because usually um, birdie birds have propellers instead of turbines. But again, when you want to build this without any mods, then you're gonna have to build it like this. But anyways, it works quite fine. It, it flies easily, and it also flies quite efficient. So you can fly around for quite some time before it really runs out of fuel but flying with this thing is a bit of a challenge because I don't know why exactly but the keys have changed when you fly it but I'm gonna show this later um, anyways this radio bird has an extendable ladder which I can extend right now I will show you later it would even reach down here so if you're gonna try to go into hover mode which isn't really possible but anyways then um, you could actually change to curl which is standing down there and which could or who could then grab the ladder and go up here but and then he could go and see, sit in one of those seats there are four seats and this very bird has no machine guns or anything I might actually add this later but yeah, I know. <laughs> um, there are actually different models of vertebrates, so this isn't the only type of vertebrate that could be there. Ones which are looking way different, but they're also official fall or descent signs for vertebrates. There are one with six um, legs or landing gears and stuff like that, but I think that's pretty much all for it, and so I'm gonna go to the launch pad and try this out. So it will start hovering after some time if you started it. And that's when it become when it becomes really difficult because first of all it starts leaning back on its own, which like you can corrugate it, it's no problem. Correct it, but yeah. The real problem starts with this. Now um doing this, this movement, this sideways movement, you usually press A and D. Like if you want to go with this, you press A, if you want to go with this, press D. But now we're using um, Q and E for it, <laughs> which usually we use for this movement. And when you start moving, it always leans back, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but, anyways. All in all, if you've figured out how, how it works, then you should, shouldn't really have a problem with controlling it. And the only thing I've actually not managed to do right now is landing this thing. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it for this video. I cannot guarantee for anything because if I land this, <laughs> it's gonna be one hell of a challenge for you. And this is also how it looks from, yeah, and sometimes this happens. <laughs> I have no idea because, maybe because you lean back too much, but um, I'm going to have to catch the very bird after this, and sometimes it just goes like, also. maybe maybe I can, like, you can save it. And this is a ladder, this is how it looks when you, uh, with the ladder. And just when you see like I'm tr uh, oh yeah and now my oxidizer <laughs> ran out so I have no control over this free word anymore okay now I'm back at launchpad and yeah as you've seen um, the word word crashed and it was because my word word ran out for um, oxidizer which you still and that's one hell of a big thing Space room, you still can't build um, just oxidizer tanks like those are um, solid fuel tanks which you need for those RSDS 
thrusters, but you can't build oxidizer, um, oxidizer tanks, which then just contain oxidizer, because those burner engines, which are very important for controlling this vertebrate, really as you've probably seen, um, yeah, they they use and they need a lot of oxidizer. That so if this vertebrate runs out of oxidizer, then well, you've just seen it. It will just crash. But anyways, um, this is. It took me quite long to actually build this, design it, and then also make it flyable or controllable. Uh, and I'm gonna try to land this. Well then, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you also liked how I built this. Um, how I built this red bird, and yeah, I'm using cheats right now, okay? <laughs> if not, I would probably run out of oxidizer again. But, anyways, I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked my design. If so, then please uh, press the like button and also tell me what you think about this. And I'm actually also planning to start another Kerbal series soon which is not just about um, flying around but pretty much also about building stuff in it but anyways thanks for watching and have a nice day